What up, what up, what up? Unbreakable Kicks Army. I hope you and your family had a happy and Merry Christmas. Well, happy Christmas is what Harry Potter will say, but Merry Christmas is what we will say over here in the United States. Now, yesterday was pretty much a calm day as far as sneakers. I don't feel like a lot of news was going on, but I know tomorrow we got the Air Jordan 1 Soul Flies on Sneakers app. And then I want to say the 28th, we got the Air Jordan 11 Legend Blue Adapts. And we know them joints retail for 500 bucks. But we will be going live for both of these sneakers because I feel like still some members of the Army actually want these joints. Before we even get to the video, I need you to hit that subscribe button. I need you to hit that notification bell. And rock bottom that like button for your boy and army like i always say make sure y'all run them likes up now on christmas eve i dropped my top 10 air jordan ones of 2021 now for the most part i feel like most people rocked with it but it was kind of controversial for a lot of other members of the army because they were saying like hey break I don't think it's fair that you put this shoe up in the countdown or why you put this one in here. It was hard for people to get this shoe X, Y, Z. But I also challenged a lot of you guys that if you didn't like my list, to send in your top 10 Air Jordan 1s of 2021. And I also told y'all to record it and send it to me. But guess what? Nobody accepted my challenge. So as of right now, I'm still going to say that my list is valid because nobody came to me with a counter list and was like, hey, break, I think this list is better. Or, hey, break, check out my list. Nobody stepped up to the plate and said, break, your list is this. Here go my list, and this is why my list is better. And I'm still waiting because we got the collection video that I'm dropping, and I want to showcase some of y'all top 10 Air Jordan 1s in that video. So, again, if you do plan on sending me your top 10 Jordan 1s, Make sure you film the video like this. If you got an iPhone, make sure you film it the horizontal way. Do not film it the up and down way like you will take a picture or just regular record. Film it the horizontal way. That way I can add it in the video. Now, also with that video, I did wind up and I told y'all, like what I like to do is if I tell y'all don't buy something, I'm not going to buy it after I told y'all don't buy it. But if I say, hey, go ahead and buy it while the price is low, I'm going to do it too if I can find a good price. And of course, man, shout out to my bro, g man for looking out. So for those who don't know, your boy did wind up getting the Air Jordan 1 patent leather breads. Now, the patent leather breads as of right now, I still feel like it's going to be 50-50. Now, I did get a text message from one of my guys, and he was just like, hey, you know, I know a couple stores that got over 100 pairs of these. And he was like, hey, you know, it's going to be plenty. It ain't going to be hefty, hefty like the Air Jordan 11 Cool Grays, but it should be a decent amount of these Air Jordan 1 patent leather breads going around. Now, I can also say this, that some spots will not have men pairs on release day. And that part right there to me is gonna be the hard part for most people who depend on the apps, like Flex app, you know, JD Sport app, Jimmy Jazz, DTL. Did DTLR even do reservation apps or they still in store? I don't know, cause I don't even, I don't even bother with like Jimmy Jazz and DTLR apps. I ain't even gonna lie, cause I never went on them. But I do know that Jimmy Jazz did say that they will still be dropping the pattern of the breads on the 30th, but they will not be dropping men pairs until a later date. So if this was a shoe that you was looking to grab, you know, to rock on New Year's or New Year's Eve or whatever the cases may be, some spots will not have men pairs in. All right, so just wanna let y'all know that. Also, with the Flex app, as of right now, it is looking to be slim pickings on the Flex app. I know champs don't even have men pairs available to even enter. Now, I want to say they got grade school, and grade school is literally only at one spot in Chicago. So, on the champ app. So, that's, or I think it could have been Kids Full Locker, one of the two. But that's why, as of late, I've been so adamant on the ship to me option because I've actually been able to hit a couple grade school. I was able to hit a grade school beluga from the ship to me. I was able to hit a couple of them MX Rock, them Yeezy 350s because of the ship to me option. So ship to me option may be the best method as far as the Flex app. You know, of course you'll put in your stores, but don't forget to do that ship to me option because it's been coming in handy for your boy. See about the patent leather brands, I wanna talk about the JD Sport Finish Line Exclusive Access. So I was hearing that Exclusive Access 
did not officially go out just yet. Now, I don't know exactly when exclusive access is going to go out for the Air Jordan 1 Pattern Leather Breads, but again, don't necessarily just depend on them to send you the email. Sometimes I check my wallet and I already have it in there, but I don't get the email to maybe like 15, 20 minutes later. So when you start seeing people, you know, talking about and hey, go check your apps or do this, do that, make sure. Like I always say, y'all, make sure y'all follow me on Twitter because soon as exclusive access go out, I will be retweeting it on Twitter. Then I also will share it on IG, but I just feel like Twitter is just a lot faster. You know, Twitter is just so much more faster as far as communicating. So again, make sure y'all are following me on Twitter. We already at 3,000 members of the army that's following me on Twitter, and I want to say about like a week. So I appreciate y'all for that. So I feel like that's good news to know for a lot of people who actually want these, that JD Sport and Finish Line did not put out that exclusive access yet. Now, a couple other people be asking, like, how do you get exclusive access on Finish Line and JD Sport? And to be honest to me, I feel like it's very simple. Spend money. All you got to do is spend money in the stores. Now, you also get the people that's like, well, break. how can I spend money at Finish Line and JD Sport when I don't get exclusive access to some of these shoes? I honestly say, like, if you're a sneakerhead like myself, like, literally, I gave everybody in my family some shoes. My sister got some Jordan 1s. My nephew got some Jordan 4s. Shout out to the Army, man, because y'all made it possible for my wife to be able to get the bubble gum. So she was able to, to have her bubble gum Jordan 1s in her size yesterday. So shout out to the Army for all those who DM me, asking me, did I still need them, etc. I appreciate y'all. Y'all could have did a little bit of Christmas shopping up in there. You know, could have got some points that way. Now, the only thing that kind of gets a little bit tricky with Finish Line JD Sport is that, you know, generally, you will use your points to get like a $10 reward, $15 reward, or a $20 reward. But now that they do an exclusive access, it's almost like you don't want to use your points on rewards because you don't know if you're going to get exclusive access on these sneakers. Oh yeah, Army, and one other thing that I forgot to mention about Finish Line JD Sport is that they are not releasing the Jordan 1 patent leather breads any other way. They are only releasing them via exclusive access. So I don't think they dropping them online. And if you don't get exclusive access and if people don't pick up their pairs, you may be able to get them in store. But as far as the online release, I want to say they said that they only dropping those via exclusive access. So keep that in mind as well. All right. So again, just be on the lookout. Make sure y'all follow me on Twitter. Make sure y'all follow me on IG so that y'all can get the, you know, updated information as quick as possible on these patent leather breads because again right now prices is fluctuating they're going up 20 bucks going down 20 bucks but watch the market again like i said in my air jordan one top 10 of 2021 video if you live in a city or a state that rarely gets jordan ones like this or you know the nearest foot locker ring for 50 to 75 miles or 30 miles or however the distance may be you might want to go ahead and pull a trigger on these. Do I see the price of them fluctuating from the day before release to the day after release? Once people get pairs in, yes, the price is going to go up. Price is going to go down. Price is going to go up. Price is going to go down. But if you're comfortable with spending $375 to $420 on these, I say pull a trigger. Again, price may go down a little bit after release if a lot of people hit then they start selling off their pair or the price may go up. If, you know, I honestly think the price of the men pair may definitely fluctuate a tad bit, seeing that I don't think a lot of men pairs will be out on official release day. I feel like as pairs slowly start to come in, prices may go down, but you know, once a pair slowly start to come in, they might put them back on the app, but like Jimmy Jazz, DTLR, most of the time, once they get them in store, they just sell them. Again, they may put them back on the app, but they could just sell them, so use your best judgment you know your area way better than me so use your best judgment if it was hard to get cool grades it's gonna be hard to get these use your best judgment now also i don't know if y'all peeped this but december 23rd and a lot of people's hitting me up break do you see that they got the gray school air jordan 4 red thunders on foot action break is that a glitch on foot action with the red thunder 4 so as far as foot action yes there was a glitch but the Red Thunder Force did actually drop in grade school sizes on the 23rd, but they dropped on NBAStore.com. 
Now, I'm not sure if any members of the Army did actually hit because NBAStore.com is just like Nordstrom, just like Jimmy Jazz, just like DTLR. Soon as you get in there, them pairs are gone. So I don't know if any members of the Army actually did get a W. If you did, let your boy know. Because I'm trying to see if pairs either got shipped out or did pairs get canceled. We know the official release date is January 15th. And most of the apps already have them listed on the calendar. And those Air Jordan Red Thunders right now are still going 500 to 600 bucks right now. Crazy price on those Air Jordan 4s. And I still see that being like a $350, $400 shoe come release day. Because release day is what? In about what? Two weeks? Two and a half weeks until release day. So those Red Thunder 4s will 100% be an issue. All the Air Jordan 4s that dropped this year was pretty much an issue. They were tough to get, and resale is still high. Only ones that's not that high is the Air Jordan 4 Lightness, and I really feel like Jordan Brand just dumped those, just like, huh, y'all can have all these at one time, man. After those drop, people were still able to go into the store and grab pairs for retail like two months after the drop. So Lightning 4s will definitely go up. It's just gonna take some time for them to do so. Last but not least, Army, I wanna go over some of my Christmas pickups, as again, I did wind up grabbing that Air Jordan one pound leather brass. That was a gift to myself. Yesterday, yesterday I purchased a sneaker off of Stadium Goods yesterday. And I wanna see if the army is gonna guess it. I mentioned this sneaker, I wanna say sometime this week. I did mention this sneaker and I wanna see which member of the army is actually going to get it right. And for that army member who does get it right, I got a gift for you, okay? So in the comment section below, name the sneaker that I mentioned that I'm just like, bro, I don't know why I did not get these at the time that I could have got them. And if you get it right, I'ma DM you and I'ma hit you up and whatever gift I got, I'll let you get it, okay? So. Um, I just want to see if y'all be listening and paying attention to your boy. But make sure y'all comment down below what sneaker I said I should have gotten, I didn't get. It's hard for me to find. Randomly on Stadium Goods last night, looking up a different shoe, and bam, this shoe popped up, and I'm just like, I got to get it, and I wind up dropping the bread. So again, comment that sneaker down below. Two sneakers for a steal. I'm talking about... This shoe right here, I literally paid 50 bucks for this shoe right here. Now, it's not the most popular shoe in the world, but it's the Air Jordan 23, the Chicago edition. And that red with that gum bottom, these joints are clean. Now, I want to say these were probably worn maybe like one time. Now, when the Jordan store opened up downtown Chicago, what was it, 2015, 2016, these joints were Chicago exclusive. And these joints was going like 400 bucks in Chicago. And again, yes, it is a pair of 23s and it's a size 11 and a half. So this should be my perfect size because I know these run pretty narrow. 50 bucks, I couldn't pass up on these at all. They're extremely clean. Chicago skyline right there stitched on the side. And I owned a pair of these years ago and I sold them. But to get them back for 50 bucks, I had to grab these, Army. Let me know if this was a good deal. Now, the second shoe right here, I paid 150 bucks for. And this shoe is going 400, 400 plus dead stock. And when these actually dropped, they were sitting. These sat for a very long time. And I sold my pair reluctantly. I'm like, I really don't want to sell these, but I would rather have the OGs with Nike Air on the back. And I'm talking about the Air Jordan 4 Wathas. This is a size 10 and a half. Now, it got a couple scuffs on the top of the toe. You know, it got a scuff right here on the side. I did have to treat them with some rejuvenator. Army, um, y'all already know, click the link in the description section below. I know y'all got some Christmas money. Make sure y'all grab y'all rejuvenator. I use the rejuvenator wipes and I use the rejuvenator sneaker cleaning solution to clean these bad boys up. They look a lot better than they did when I first got them in. The rejuvenator really got these joints clean. So 150 bucks, I couldn't pass on these. Now these were probably worn, give or take maybe three or four times. And this won't be no shoe that I would like put in one of the cases to display. This would be one of those Walmart type shoes that if I'm going to Walmart or going to the movies, I might go ahead, you know, and throw these joints on right here where people really don't care about sneakers. But for 150 bucks, knowing how much these joints are going for a dead stock, 
I, I don't want to say I hate that I sold my original pair, but you know, again, to get these joints for a steal like this, I had to grab them. So Army, in the comment section below, let me know exactly what y'all got for Christmas. I know a lot of members of the Army got some sneakers for Christmas. So what sneakers did you get for Christmas and what sneakers did you give for Christmas? Let your boy know in the comment section below. Army, I appreciate you guys. I love you guys. And other than that, you got your boy Unbreakable. You got the Unbreakable vote. Unbreakable Army stay strong like always. Most importantly, hug your loved ones. And of course, remain humble. And again, comment down below what sneaker did I say that I wanted, I didn't get, but now I got them joints, man. I'm so happy that I got them joints. Army, don't forget to watch the top 10 Jordan 1s of 2021. Greedy Fresh, take us home, and we out. I hit them breakable for the easies. He the plug, call them what I need them. These old tough, but he get them easy. Yours old, them first season. Them old beefy looking like two lefts. Two lefts cause your ass taking nerves.